Hello everyone. On this video, you will learn how to create multiple web configuration files, aka web config files, for different environments using ASP.NET and Visual Studio 2022. So for this example, I'm going to be using ASP Web API. Let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is create our project. I'm just going to use ASP.NET Web Application. It's going to be test web config. Go ahead and click create. I'm going to use a web API. Looks like our project is up and running. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our web config and we're going to set it up with a connection string and some app settings so we can test it out. All right. I already have a testing connection string here. I'm just going to add it here. This is like a, a test DB connection string. So I'm not, I'm not even going to do a test DB. This is going to be a dev DB. It's going to be a dev db connection string and we're going to add some values here i added a application id whenever i'm developing in dev my application id is going to be this one and we're going to have an application GUI id it's going to be this one and we have a flag that says if it's development or not so in this case development is true so this is our default web config file now let's just say if we want to publish this to our staging environment or a production environment and we don't want to be changing every single every single time these you know values you know all these three values in a database connection so here's what we're going to do so first thing we're going to do is for the production environment we're going to call it release environment we're going to double click on this web config so you click on drop down right next to that web config double click the web config release configuration after you do that, we're going to go grab our web config. It's exactly same thing. Actually, you know what? Let's grab a web config and our app settings here, which is going to be exactly the same thing right now. And let's, let's go ahead and paste it here. And we can delete all this. We don't need this right now. Right now, everything, it's exactly the same. So the one, ch the one thing we're going to change here is we're going to add. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it bigger here. We're going to add at the end of our, our connection string here. I'm just going to hit an enter here so you guys can see on the same screen here. We're going to add this XDT transform called set attributes. And it's going to be XDT locator match name. So just so you know, this match name is going to be this. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, this that, that that's what that's going to be. And then what about here? So here we don't need this because this is not going to change. Oh, and one more thing, this is not going to be dev db. This is going to be production production database. An application ID in production is going to be five five five. Let's make it a little bit different so we can see what the difference is. Save it. And is dev is going to be false because this is production. Okay, on this, on the key here, what we're going to do in the key, it's pretty much the same thing that we have here, but it's a, li a little bit different. It's going to be transform, we're going to replace. It's going to be XD transform, XDT transform. We're going to use a replace locator, same thing. And now we're going to match the key. As you can see here, it's a key. This has to be done on all of them, all three of them. That's pretty much it. That's all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and run a test test run here. First, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna publish a dev environment. Let's so show you to publish. Go ahead and right click on your project. Click publish. Now I'm gonna create a dev environment first. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna publish to our bin folder. To oh, you know what? Let's do dev first. Dev slash dev. Go ahead and click finish. Down here where it says release, you got to make sure you click debug and click save. All right, let's go ahead and publish to that location. So publish is successful. Now, this is what got published. Let's go ahead and double click on it. See what it looks like on our web config file. As you guys can see here, dev got published and it says dev db. And you can see it's all the default information that I have on my web config file. Now let's go ahead and do and let's go ahead and create another profile 
and this is going to be our production profile. Click finish and here just make sure it's set to release and then just save it and then go ahead and publish and let's see what it looks like now. So it got generated. Let's double click on the web config file and there you go. As you guys can see here, it says production DB and the numbers are different. It's the numbers that we set it up. It's are the numbers that we set up for our production environment. So that way using this method, which is if you if you Google it around, it's it should be the, the transform method. You don't have to be switching back and forth between production environment connection strings or you know different keys or you know anything related to a different environment. So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, comments, just drop them below. I'll go ahead and uh, add these lines of code here into the description or drop a link below. All right, thanks for watching guys.